Hi there. It's Bearing and Sugar Tits from the past. Do, 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 What the f*** do you mean from the past? Well, I mean, I guess it's always from the past when people watch us. But, like, we're away at the moment. Oh, I get you. Yeah, we're away this week, so we couldn't really do anything current because the internet moves so fast. I'm sure something's happened with, like, Tim Pool and Lauren Chen. I'm sure something's happened with Trump. I'm sure something's happened with... What else do we talk about? Ray Gunn's probably landed a book deal. Who f***? knows. But we're not here for it, so I thought we'd do a timeless video. I've been sitting on this one for a while. It's bad tattoos. <laughs> Wait, wait, what kind of tattoos? Well, like regretful tattoos. People who get shit tattoos and then regret it sort of thing. Right. You've got a bit of experience in that. No, I don't. I like my tattoos. Yeah, your tattoos are cringe. I've only got two and they're all in hidden spots. I don't have anything against tattoos. I would never get one because like what if I need to like run from the Matrix one day? I don't want to have like anything identifiable on me. People get mole tattoos. Have you heard of them? I like where they actually get a mole tattooed to them. Yeah. Well, there's other crazy shit in the beauty world as well. They've got um, eyebrow tattoos, eyeliner tattoos, and the recent one, which is just fucking retarded, I'm sure you can find a video on this, freckle tattoos. Oh yeah, freckle tattoos. That's fucking cringe. It's so stupid. There's a guy we're going to look at, just a picture, who's got a glasses tattoo. <laughs> That's so stupid. Anyway, we've got a quick sponsor. Bearing, 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 bearing. We are living in unpredictable times with digital currencies on the rise, a whopping $35 trillion of national US debt, and inflation levels at a 40-year high. Elon Musk has warned the US dollar is heading for destruction and that these factors could bankrupt the US. Financial experts are urging Americans to prepare right now. That's why you should strongly consider physical gold and silver to help protect your retirement accounts like IRAs and 401ks. Preserve Gold is giving away a no-cost, no-obligation free wealth protection guide that contains over 25 pages of detailed information and insights. Learn how you can put physical gold and silver into an IRA or 401k and even purchase precious metals for delivery directly to your home. All you need to do is text the word BEARING to 50505. Preserve Gold has hundreds of five-star reviews and millions of dollars in trusted transactions with satisfied clients. As an exclusive offer to my viewers, in addition to their free guide, you can also get up to 15 grand in free gold and silver with a qualified purchase. So don't wait, claim this exclusive offer from Preserve Gold today. Text BEARING to 50505 or visit offers.preservegold.com slash BEARING. Believe in yourself and never lose hoop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the ones where they get the spelling incorrect. That one's all right. That's what I thought you meant by mole tattoo. Oh, no, that's good. Yeah, that's quite clever, that. That is retarded. <laughs> even, it's like a spasticated Ewok of some kind. That's like a drunk guy whose friend just got a tattoo gun. Oh, yeah. I yeah. was sitting at, when we had my niece over for dinner the other night, I looked at her wrist and I saw this mark on her wrist and I said, did you cut your wrist or something? And she said, no, nah, me and my friends were testing out a new tattoo gun. I'm like, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Like, it wasn't even an actual planned out tattoo. They're just like, oh, does it work? <laughs> oh, come on, come on. I can imagine you and all your mates back in the day, in your 20s, imagine if someone just gave you a tattoo gun when you were all shit-faced. Yeah, maybe. You would have one for sure. It's just fortunate that never happened, I yeah. guess. Yeah, that's a possibility. But that is a retarded-looking tiger. That is, yeah. What about this one? <laughs> That's awesome What do you even do with that? Do you just colour it in and commit? It's like something my four year old would draw <laughs> This guy got a Chinese tattoo and found out it meant turkey sandwich <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome This chick wanted stars on her chest And now she looks like she's got a hairy set of tits Yeah How did they botch that up? Well I mean how would you tattoo a star? I mean I guess you could do You could actually draw pointed stars But yeah that's just fucking cringe <laughs> <laughs> that looks evil. Now that is a shame. That's obviously like his dead mum or something. Yeah. And it just looks like a fucking zombie. It looks like the ring. Yeah. <laughs> the chick from the ring or something. Oh, oh no. The baby looks like fucking Chairman Mao. <laughs> oh, it looks like a Klingon. Alright, here's one for you. This chick made the news recently. Okay. Okay, what are they gonna do? What's with the T-shirt? Well, what do you think she's going to get tattooed to herself? Oh, it's going to be Trump's face or something. I have a family in the US. Oh, yeah. They Trump supporters. So this chick's British, which is weird. It's bizarre. Yeah. 
Trump in massive, massive, bold font. And apparently she got it too. I mean, some people think it's fake, but like, I mean, some people think the boogie tattoo is fake. You know how he got liar tattooed to his face? <laughs> yeah. But it's still there. It kind of looks faded because like he's got a beard. But yeah, this bitch got Trump tattooed to her forehead. Yeah, so apparently it's real. But this silly bitch, right, she's an Instagram person. She's got like 19,000 followers on Instagram. And she's basically just a whore. <laughs> a whore. Right. And so she's got this Trump tattoo. And I saw an article before about how she regrets it. She gets hate and all that. And so now she's doing this <laughs> really? campaign where she fucking, she's out on the street with a fucking cardboard sign saying, help me fund tattoo removal. But I think it's just all a scheme. I think she's just an OnlyFans whore. And this is just like a gimmick promotion. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, She's got the tattoo and she goes out on the street and it's like a point of interest. Come and talk to me. Look how quirky and bizarre I am. What an idiot. I'd love to drop her off in the middle of a pride rally. <laughs> I'd love to see that video. But she goes out on the street and people just like think she's a dickhead. I like Trump, bruv. He's the real yeah. nigga, man. He's a real nigga, man. Fuck it. Oh, well, my dear. I, don't, I don't like the other guy, bro. The other guy's a spastic. Why him? Uh, yeah, that guy. Fuck hey, him. he's out now. Where you going? Huh? Oh. He's out now. Oh, go ahead, hold. Come, come chat to me. No, no, no. I'll go home, man. Have a good day. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want to chat to the crazy bitch with a Trump tattoo on her forehead? Come and talk to me. No, no. I'm going home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she's out on the street with her fucking sign saying, help me fund tattoo removal. And this is how little people think of her. I will give you a donation to keep the tattoo. Oh, how much? <laughs> <laughs> but if I give you the donation, you have to keep the tattoo forever. How much is it? Maybe like 20 quid. No. <laughs> That's not enough to keep it forever. No. All right, fair enough. I'll give you 20 quid to keep it. She asked him how much you'd give me to keep it. Like he's going to say, oh, 50 grand. Yeah, so look, it could be fake, but I think it's real. It's probably real. I mean, there was footage of the tattoo artist doing it with the tattoo gun and all that, but who knows? It's like I mentioned the boogie tattoo. People think that's fake. Now, speaking of boogie, do you remember when Frank Hassel threatened to turn up at Boogie's house and him? <laughs> No. <laughs> Was this over the whole liar scandal? No, no, no. This is ages ago. So Frank's a fucking shit stirrer, right? And yeah. he was on some live stream with Boogie. And he's like, Boogie, I'm going to turn up to your house and r you. And then he turned up and Boogie, like, got a gun and shot in the air and shit. And Boogie caught charges for that. Holy shit. You never saw that? No. What, there's video of it? Yeah. Well, the reason I bring this up is Frank Hassel's got a tattoo of his own. Dank and Jeremy told me about this a few weeks ago. And this is, I mean, fuck. What the hell is that? That's the Twin Towers with 9-11. Oh my God, it is too. And planes going into it and dead people falling, falling out of it. Falling off, burning, <laughs> falling to the ground. Oh my God. <laughs> I know. He probably doesn't regret that, though, because, like, he's a bit of a funny, quirky c Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you put me onto these videos, right? So we've got these freaky, like, Brazilian guys and this fucking, I don't know, this Mexican or whatever the fuck, who have just got these horrendous tattoos and body modifications, and it's just, ugh, it's just gross. So this is Michael f from Brazil, I think. He's rocking the metal teeth. He's had his nose removed. There's shit going on with his eyes. Jesus. He's had his, like, eyes dyed or something. Tattooed, I don't know. He's got no eyelashes. Yeah. How's those metal teeth? They're fucking scary. They'd make a kid cry. Yeah, the bottom ones. It's like boar teeth, isn't it? Yeah. Have you seen what they've done with me? Oh, see, come on, that's too much. That's too much. He's got horns and shit. See, what I'm thinking, right, is like if you're walking down a dark alley and he walks briskly towards you and you see that and you're like, K him, could your defense in court be, well, I thought we were being like invaded by aliens? I'm sorry, Your Honor. I thought it was the walking dead. <laughs> I mean, the judge is going to look at him and go, well, I mean, I kind of get it. You're still going to jail. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of get where you're coming from. You see the um, implants they do underneath the skin? For what, the horns? No, they're, like, they're bumps. I don't know what the hell it's made out of silicone or whatever, but like silicone bits and they implant it under the skin to make bumps and shit. Yeah. Like you'd be fucked, wouldn't you? How do you fit into society like that? You don't. You couldn't walk past a school. You couldn't really do anything. You couldn't apply for a job. And then there's this guy. I am Tiamat. 
Uh, and he's a fucking what do you say? He's a he's a genderless dragon or genderless lizard or something. Yeah. <laughs> I am Tiamat, and I am a genderless dragon. I was born a male. When I look in the mirror, I see a creature. I don't see a human. Today, I'm going out to the community. I never know what's gonna happen when I go out. People are gonna go, oh my God, look at that fucking guy. Yeah, you're gonna traumatize some people. That's Get away from happen. my kids. Yeah. It's a constant worry. People attacking her. Wait, her? Yes. The I thought, thought it was, was genderless. genderless. Yeah. <laughs> the body modifications that I've had so far, I have 18 horns on my head to make me look more reptilian. And whenever I need to, it will make me look more menacing. Ooh. Ooh. Scary. Yeah, no shit. You know what I was thinking is who the fuck is doing these surgeries? You know what I mean? Like he's had like, he's had all these bumps put in his fucking head. He's had so much shit. I watched like a few minutes into this. Just w wait till you see all the shit he's had. So I have had the white part, the sequela of my eyes tattooed green. I've had the whites of my eyes tattooed. Can you imagine turning up to a tattoo parlor going, yeah, can you tattoo me fucking eyes? How do you hold your eyes open and not blink? But wouldn't the tattoo artist risk blinding you? I mean, he's poking needles into your fucking eyeball. Mm -hmm. The removal of my ears, OMG. I got my love rolled my nose and I love it so much. I am in the process of removing all of my teeth completely. See what I mean? Who's doing these surgeries? Who's the surgeon who goes, yeah, yeah, no worries. I'll remove your ears. I'll give you a Voldemort nose. Would you like me to tattoo your fucking eyes? Yeah. How about we rip out all your teeth? Want a dick on your head? Yeah, I mean, like, where's the line? If you turned up to, like, one of these surgeons and said, can you, like, remove my penis and graft <laughs> it to my nose, would they be like, yeah, no worries, 10 grand? <laughs> I would like to see that. I wouldn't. Right now, I only have six teeth left in my mouth. I'm going to have them replaced with implants. My tongue is split. You know what I find weird is when people get their tongue split like that, they can move both sides independently. Like, have you seen those sluzzers oh. on, like, TikTok? And they've no. had, like, their tongue split. And they're like, ah, look what I can do with my tongue, boys. <laughs> Implying, like, I'll suck your dick and, like, wrap my tongue forks around it. Oh. Yeah. My birth name was Richard. Junior, and I was born a male. Career-wise, I went into the bank as a clerk, and then 15 years later, I left the bank as a vice president. So it was a really fun job, great experiences, but I left the bank when I became HIV positive. He left the bank when he became HIV positive. So he was like a straight-laced bank guy. He was the assistant manager, or what was it, the vice president? Yeah. And then he got HIV, and he was like, well, I'm just going to be totally fucked now. <laughs> yeah, might as well be a dragon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I started treatment right away, and then I actually was diagnosed as having AIDS. At that time, I was not going to die from this world looking like a human. So I'm becoming a genderless dragon. I've already had a castration. Oh, he's had his cock chopped off. <gasps> and his balls. Castration. That's what he said, isn't it? Castration. Yeah. I've already had the castration. And the balls? Yeah, that's what castration is. I thought you said the cock. Isn't it cock and balls? It might just be balls, I don't know. Why would you keep one or the other? I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. I'm not a <laughs> castration expert. <laughs> I'm having stabs in the dark here. <laughs> <laughs> you could keep the balls and pretend they're like dragon eggs. <laughs> the next step for me was is to get a penectomy, a full penectomy. What the fuck is a penectomy? It's something to do with a penis, obviously. A penis. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Look it up. I gotta know. Penectomy. Tommy. What is a penectomy? A penectomy refers to the surgical removal of the penis. Okay, so castration is just the nuts. Oh, there you go. Aren't we glad we looked this up, everyone? <laughs> I don't see it. Why wouldn't they just do both at once? You got the scalpel out. You can have a partial penectomy or a total penectomy. That's good to know. The surgery is the most common way to treat cancer of the penis. Oh, there's cancer of the oh. penis? I didn't know that. Oh, that's a harsh thing to get. Isn't it? So if you get, like, tip cancer, they would just half the penis, so you still have yeah. half a penis. So you just wouldn't have a knob. You'd have a nub. Oh, that's horrible. Ooh, this is a cute little dress. 
I am all about doing the whole Tina Turner thing. So you're not genderless, are you? Clearly you want to be a woman. Well, yeah, that's the impression that one gives, yeah. Like chopping your cock off. Well, I don't think they're getting a vagina. I mean, they didn't say a vaginoplasty or whatever the fuck. Nah. They just said a penectomy. I'm learning too many words today. <laughs> The negative response is people normally just yell out their window as they're driving by us. Remember the ones that, that ask you, are you with her? Are y'all together? Are y'all together? Do you need help? And this guy stopped us and he was like, sweetheart, are you with her? And I was like, yeah. Are Do you okay? Are, are you okay? Do you need to repent for your really? sins? <laughs> Have you been abducted by an alien? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, I guess he wasn't really offended. He wasn't saying, people look at me and it's horrible. I mean, he clearly wants people to look at him. Yeah. So I don't even know how to end this. That was just bizarre. Yeah. Don't get tattoos, girls and boys. At least don't rush into them. Okay, well, we'll be back next week. So we'll talk about some more current shit then. But in the meantime, you have fun. Thanks very much for watching. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. See ya. Recession.